Thank you so much, Patrick. And I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are here on the land of the Gadigal people and pay our respects to their elders. It always was and always will be Aboriginal land. And if we can deliver a yes vote like this for love, we should be able to deliver a yes vote to have a treaty for Aboriginal people in this country. My name's Jenny Leong and I'm from the Greens. And can I say what an incredible result. We have been saying for so long that love will win and today we have seen love has won. I remember standing at Taylor Square on a very, very dark Friday a long time ago when John Howard passed the amendment to the Marriage Act when there was no opposition cry from Labor, when the Greens tried to amend and stop this discrimination from taking place and we all gathered at Taylor Square thinking to ourselves how on earth could someone pass a law that was so hateful, that was so divisive and from that day community activists like Alex Greenwich, like Sally Rugg from Get Up, like the incredible against homophobia, they have stood together and campaigned in a united way to make sure that we see an end to that divisive law. And today, can I say, the momentum is there and we are on the path to a whole lot of rainbow weddings. And that, that is a most wonderful thing, not just because two people who love each other will get to have their love treated equally under the law. Not just because when we go to wedding ceremonies in the future, we won't have to hear that most hideous and divisive line that says that love and marriage is just that between a man and a woman. But the reason why this is so important is because all of those young LGBTIQ people out there feel vindicated by this strong national support for equality. So I want to encourage you to do two things. The first is to make sure that you call your MP and tell them we want marriage equality passed this year because we want to see a whole lot of rainbow weddings next year. And the other thing I want you to do is make sure that you check in on everybody. It's been a pretty tough time. It's been a pretty full on time for everybody and this has been an overwhelmingly wonderful result. But it's been emotional and it's been tough. So make sure you check in with those that you love. Make sure you look out for them over the coming days. And finally, if you're up for a little bit more celebration tonight, I hear that maybe uh, there might be a rather large gang of people gathering in Taylor Square and Oxford Street for a little dance on Oxford Street. So if you've got time, start gathering from five. I'll be there because there is no choice tonight but to dance on the street. And what better place to dance on the street than Oxford Street? The Greens stand with you. 100% of the time because we support equality and we will continue to do so until we see rainbow weddings all over this wonderful country. Thank you very much. I'm Jenny Leon. It was many, many years ago that I stood exactly in this square, no doubt with many of you, as John Howard's marriage amendment passed through both houses of parliament. It was at that time that we had absolute echoing silence from Labor, a divisive homophobic attempt to shut down marriage equality from the Liberals. And we as a community, as many communities, came together to say, we will not let this division continue without a strong campaign. It is now over a decade later, and this morning, when the statistician made the announcement, we saw that love has won. Can I give you my commitment that you don't need to log onto a website to see how the Greens MP that represents your area or your state is going to vote because I can give you the Greens commitment right here, right now.
now we will vote for marriage equality every MP, every vote, every time because that is how we play it in the green. I want to take the opportunity to say a massive thank you to the incredible people that have been a part of organising and mobilising this campaign. To the incredible LGBTIQ community leaders, including Alex Greenwich, give him a hand. <laughs> Phoenix Love, just there. <laughs> Elaine and all the equality team. But I also want to take a minute to acknowledge a couple of other people. One is Sally Rugg from Get Up, who has been fighting and campaigning tirelessly for marriage equality. Sally! for a very long time. And there's another group of activists who have been campaigning for equality for LGBTIQ communities for a very, very long time, and that is Community Action Against Homophobia. They are the community grassroots activists that came together to organise the tens of thousands of people to march on the streets of Sydney that beat Melbourne hands down in terms of numbers to see people out there in the community. And I want to say thank you to each and one of every one of those activists for putting in the hard yards. Oh yes, their banner is there. Congratulations <laughs> to the Community Action Against Homophobia people. And finally, I want to say this. There is no, no option now but for the Federal Parliament to listen to the people and pass this bill. What we need to see is before the end of the year, an end to marriage equality, discrimination in this country, and a complete commitment of the federal parliament to say that all love is equal so that marriage equality can be realized in this country. It is something that we need to see, it is something that we're committed to, and it is something that should have happened a long time ago. I am sorry for the hurt and the pain that this stupid, ludicrous postal survey has caused. We didn't need it, but now that we've won it, we know that there is only one solution, and that solution is to see marriage equality realised before Christmas. Congratulations to you all, it has been a wonderful campaign. The Greens continue to stand with you. Thank you, Jenny Leon from the Greens. Thank you. Enjoy the night. And thank you so much.